Hi guys, hope you're all well. Uh, today I'm just going to do a little pendant um, with a transfer image because I did say that um, I would make something proper rather than just, you know, a little disc uh, or a little square as I did in the transfer video. So I'm just going to use this little um, laser jet printed it's kind of a tattoo-y, sketchy look, isn't it? Just a little flourish. Uh, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to use a heart cutter to make a heart-shaped pendant. I'm going to use a bit of texture as well, just to, you know, uh, jazz it up a little bit. I'm going to use my... Um... Oh, no, there's a plane going over. Christ, that was low. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to use this because I can uh, do my little shaving thing and get holes. Again, I've showed you in a previous video, you could do it yourself with a pokey tool. If you go and look at my other heart video, uh, the silver one, uh, you'll see how I do it in there. I'm going to use some Cerny Opaline just because it's on my desk. Um, you could just use some plain white or... Uh, whatever colour you want guys it really doesn't matter does it um, so yeah it's going to be a simple pendant just a nice white heart a little bit of texture with this little tattoo like um, image poking out and again guys if you haven't got a um, laser printer you might have a stamp a flourish stamp that would work just as well um, you know just use some um, archival ink um, and stamp yourself a little image on um, it doesn't have to be just using this laser jet printed stuff anyway <coughs> I've bubbled on enough I'll go and get a bit of this conditioned uh, and uh, then we'll just put it all together and make a cutesy pendant. See you in a min. Hi guys, okay, so um, I've got my clay conditioned. I'm actually just going to cut this in half and stack it as I usually do, making sure that I've got a nice chunky pendant. Let me just pick this up and decide which is the better side because I've just noticed a grubby mark. Okay, that's the better side. But um, I am going to um, put it on. I'm just wiping my tile over, guys. Um, I am going to put it on a tile but I am going to attempt to dorm it a little bit once we've got everything that we need um, I can see a tiny bubble there uh, once we've got everything we need on it um, I'm just going to uh, lift it off and oh a speckle on me for some reason uh, yeah I'm going to lift it off and attempt to burnish it uh, to burnish it to dorm it a little bit um, it behaved reasonably okay In my practice run so I'm hoping that it's gonna be okay right so let's give that a burnish let me make sure I've not got anything on my bit of paper because I seem to be picking bits up from somewhere and I don't know where okay I'll just give this a nice burnish Make sure that surface is smooth. I had a couple of ripples in it from the uh, pasta machine. And I just want to make sure that they're 
they've gone there we go okay got my little transfer ready I'm just going to put a speck of water get that patted on let me just make see which way I'm going to do this I'm just going to trim that top bit off as well guys it'll give me a better guide there we go just get some water on I'm just patting it or rubbing it just so you I don't think you can see with it being white but I'm just trying to make sure that I've got a decent film of water but not a, a massive amount um, a decent film of water across my piece and I think I'll pop that about there I'm just burnishing it in making sure I know that that's pressed down and then I'll put a bit of water on the back and just give it a dab until it's gone translucent just a little bit more There we go. Okay, I'll just get a bit of kitchen paper and just mop up that excess water. Then I know it's not going anywhere. I seem to have a bit of a puddle underneath that paper. Let's just do that. There we go. I'm just going to pat that out. And now we just need to leave this to one side to dry. Um, so I'll pop this to one side. Uh, I am not going to put it on uh, my heater again because I keep making the clay go crackly. Uh, so I'm just going to let it dry naturally. It shouldn't take long because I did blot it, didn't I? Um, i just dry this area up while we're waiting just using this um, bit of scrap I'm just going to push my uh, texture in uh, and cut a few um, slithers off to add some texture to the pendant and uh, if you've not got this texture mat or something that similar that you can do it with guys um, if you go to my silver foil textured pendant video I show you a, li a little trick with a ball tool to get this sort of pattern uh, so I've just got my very sharp tissue blade and I'm just going to slice through the top of this and get myself some nice slithers so that I can add some bits of texture to my pendant and of course I'm doing it in the same colour let me just break that bit off oh it's stuck get off and I'm just going to go in again and press it again and just keep take a few more slithers off just so that I know I've got some nice pieces to overlay on the pendant I do love this texture mat oh 
the link for it is well the link to the shop is Yaroslav Molds and um, it's in my description guys if you want to go and have a look um, he has some lovely stuff um, and of course the postage isn't the best but I struggle to find decent moulds and decent texture mats for a reasonable price um, so I don't mind paying the postage uh, at all for quality goods and for the distance it's coming you know it's coming from Russia so and the postage around Europe at the minute has just been appalling anyway so anyway I've done my little slivers ready we just need to let this uh, dry off then we're just going to lay some slithers over mainly over one side but I may bob a couple of pieces just to tie it in cut our pendant out take it off the tile and try and dorm it a tiny bit don't know if I'm pushing my lot guys but we'll see and then we'll just have a lovely um, a lovely tattooed pendant I think I'll call it okay guys I'll let this um, sit and I'll see you all in a min okay guys I think this is dry now just gonna gently peel that back off Woo! there we go lovely image transfer it does look like a tattoo doesn't it I quite like it you know I because it's got that shading on it that's why I picked it because it looked like a tattoo right so what I want to do is I'm going to put my cutter around there so I want to put some of my little bits that I shaved off if I can pick them up in a position if that's going to go there then I'll just pop that one there and I'm doing this just to um, just to give it a bit of texture give it a bit of something you know so it's not just that um, you know just a heart cut out with that on it and I think I would like a little bit of this down here if I can pick it up do you know fingers and thumbs guys you know what I'm like I just want to put a little bit of that sneaking on here and I'm just gently patting it so that I know it's going to st stick because of course it's fresh clay on fresh clay isn't it okay so I'm not actually I've not got too much of that on that side I think I just want a little bit more here let's just get this scrap and pull that little edge off and just maybe have a little bit more on this edge if I can get it to sit where I want it I don't want it to go over my tattoo so to speak I just wanted it to sneak a little bit further on and like I say I'm just patting it and all I'll do when I'm done guys is I'll probably just um, put a matte varnish over the image to protect it uh, and then I'll buff the tops of this to give it a bit of a shine so again you know mixing and matching with my textures and everything else right let's get this cut out and I think that's a nice spot so I'm just going to cut through there
I'm using this. I have got some really lovely heart cutters, um, but they're a little bit small for a large, they're more suitable for earrings, really. So let's get rid of this excess from around there. And there we can see I've just, I might just put another little bit there just to do something with that edge like that that's better I'll just pat that down gently just so it tidy in to the bigger piece over here you know it's up quite a bit about balance with your pieces isn't it let me just get my cutter back over and then I can just push down and cut that excess off there there we go oh I sneaked a bit of that as well okay so I'm just going to run my finger around the edge just to make sure that it's nice and smooth and that little bit is blended in got a little bit there I'll just use my tool it's got a little bit of clay stock on that edge okay I think we're good to go now I really don't I wanted to just give it a slight dome um, but I was worried that if I picked it up it might disturb the um, the print let's let's just do it it is what it is isn't it just going to keep my blade really flat there we go I managed it oh I've made my little things pop off with the twist in it okay you wouldn't be able to do this with the inkjet one I don't think guys this would only work with a laser jet image And I'm not going to press it because the warmth of the oven. I'm just going around these edges and make sure there's no crummy bits. Uh, the warmth of the oven should make it kind of flop down. I'll just gently press it where I can. So there, we've got that nice little pendant with a tiny bit of a curve on it and hopefully it'll drop a little bit in the oven my edges are pretty smooth so I may just have to go over it with a nail file nothing drastic I shall pop this in the oven guys and I'll see you when we're done see you in a min okay guys we're baked it's lovely because it's got that little porcelain kind of look now with the uh, opaline so um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give this a quick buff just to put a bit of shine on this part um, just to give us a bit of uh, contrast again you know I like my contrasting parts uh, and then I'm just going to put a little bit of I think it'll be fine actually because it's kind of heat set isn't it uh, inkjet uh, but I will put some matte varnish um, over it to protect it um, and then um, I'm just going to put a little eye uh, screw eye hook in and pop it on a bit of a wire choker just to finish it off so I'll just go and buff this uh, and then we'll come back and varnish see you in a min okay guys I've just given that just a gentle buff just to bring some shine out 
on the surface uh, let me find a pokey tool and I'm just going to put an eye pin I'll probably do it in this top point here I'll just put myself a little pilot hole and I've just got a little silver oh, screw eye pin and if I can see where I've just made my hole there it is let's get that going I struggle sometimes with these I have to get Steve to put them in sometimes they're just a bit too fiddly for my little hands okay that's in nicely and I've just got one of my favourite sort of chokers I've popped the end off you've seen me doing it before I just uncrimp it uh, and pop the screw end off and I'll just pop this on there nice and simple lovely little pendant um, I am gonna varnish this got for guys so I'll just I'll just take the wire off um, of course the varnish needs to dry so I just thought I'd do that as the last step then I haven't got another step to film uh, let's find a nice little fine brush there we go and this is just Cernit matte varnish uh, to be fair it isn't that matte it's more of a satin finish but what I'm going to do is just put a light coating and this has to be baked in the oven again like heat set uh, to be totally honest with you guys I don't always do it <coughs> if I'm just putting a very fine coat on like this because uh, it's you know just to give that which I don't think would budge anyway but it's just to give that a little bit of protection just make sure I've got into those nooks and crannies and there's no brush marks I'll take that that way there we go I'll leave that to dry guys uh, you've probably already seen some 40s at the beginning but there's the pendant Just checking that there's no little thick bits of resin varnish and that's dried off really nicely actually there's no big brush marks in it So there we go, little pendant. Just pop it back on the wire one last time. Just a really simple pendant, guys, but just wanted to give you a quick idea of what you could do with some of your transfers if you choose to do this. And you know, I've managed to get that little dome on it, so that worked. Okay guys, I shall leave it there and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.